is there a case that sometimes you would uh, consider outsourcing some parts or some parts of design process or some deliverables to kind of design agencies or uh, maybe freelancers uh, to conduct uh, some parts of the design process? I mean, um, that that can definitely work. I mean, I've, I've seen that working when I was, um, especially when I was working with uh, some of, of, um, of the startups. Um, I'm, I mean, once you've reached a certain size, I think it's, it's, um, I mean, for me, it makes sense to have, to have an in-house team. Um, it's maybe also de depends a bit on the domain. Um, so, I mean, the domain that we are in really requires, um, you know, what the, this, this ramp up in the beginning where you really need, I mean, you really need to understand what we're doing there. And, um, and that's, of course, that's just harder to establish, I would say, with, um, with a design agency. When it comes to research, um, definitely. Um, yeah, definitely something that can be, where you can use a, an agency as an extended workbench. Of course, also, when you, when you have specific design challenges and you just want to, you know, I mean, get someone in with a new perspective, maybe with a new method on how to look at things, um, run a design sprint, run whatever, you know, there are a lot of good methods out there. And, and sometimes, you know, you just tend to get stuck in your, you know, this is how we do it. And then it's, then it's I think, also very valuable to bring in uh, someone to just, you know, spark new ideas, new methods and so on. Um, that's that's what I believe in. Yeah, yeah, I agree. From our experience, we have a client when they have like thirty designers already, and they still hire five designers from us because they were uh, scaling so fast that they needed like give us five people, <laughs> and that's all because they had much more work that they can uh, normally on board and hire and spend time. Like it takes months to build a team, and if you work with trusted uh, partner who is uh, whose domain is similar to yours, in this case that can work. Obviously, in the years, they will move to, they are already starting moving to almost everybody in-house, but people who matched their expectation are still staying within the, their team. Uh, and also for startups, if you need quick design of version two and you all of your team is working on existing system, uh, sometimes it makes sense to bring somebody with new uh, point of view and who can at least wireframe the new solution uh, from their experience on other systems. Exactly. I mean, you know, having someone independent of that, someone internally or externally, being able to just visualize ideas is is so valuable, right? Um, because I think this is really something. It's just not happening enough. Um, when when ideas are being discussed, there's a lot. Of, I mean, people write a lot of documents and so on. This. And also, and even designers sometimes have unlearned that skill. So, I mean, our tools became so powerful over the last years, right? So everyone is kind of, you know, I mean, everyone is super comfortable in creating something which looks super nice very quickly, very fast. But that's some, I believe that is, especially when you go into a new, you know, when you start, ide when you want to start ideating. Uh, when, when, when you want to look at different alternatives, it's it sometimes drives the discussion into, into the wrong direction. So, you know, um, having having someone who is comfortable in in quickly visualizing, sketching ideas, and and helping to to get a, a real discussion going that that's really valuable. 